Hello and welcome to Poland Daily Travel. Today we head west. Our destination is the palace and grounds at Radziowice. Situated about 40 kilometers west of Warsaw, the palace complex is a haven for artists and a welcome spot to retire to the countryside for travelers. It's a complex of classical residences surrounded by a park. And it's been a cultural center since 1965. The Radziowice family first built the castle in the 1500s. During the palace's heyday, it was a residence to various kings of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. During the 17 and 1800s, the Kraszynski family gave uh, the complex its present look. And currently, the castle and the complex are visited by writers, columnists, actors, filmmakers, musicians, and visual artists. So come along and let's take a look at the Radziowice Castle, Palace, and Grounds. The weather's perfect. Let's go for a walk. And watch Poland Daily Travel. We're glad to be here for you. Welcome back to Poland Daily Travel. We're here at the beautiful palace in Radziowice. Exactly. Radziowice. Radziowice. And Arthur's very hungry because he's been waiting a whole day to eat this soup. I wouldn't let him touch it. We've been sitting here for 24 hours. That's correct. And uh, waiting. <laughs> That's correct. That's correct. Really? Only if you saw my eyes from behind the glasses. Uh, yeah, you would see that it's not so correct. At any rate, we are now going to try our soup. What do you got? Kapuśniak. Kapuśniak. Which What's is that like cabbage from? soup. Kapuśniak? Like kapusta, cabbage, Kapusta. Mm -hmm. uh, kapusta is the Polish word for cabbage. Yes. And that is made from cabbage. And I have some potatoes in here, oh, and I good. can see it's pretty thick. Okay. And there are some green um, things in here. Maybe some carrot as well. Looks nice. Cabbage is in everything in Poland, isn't it? Yes. It's omnipresent, we could yes. say. It's everywhere. This is what our bones are made of, cabbage. Your bones are made of cabbage? Is yes. that a Polish saying? No, or but... You, it's a, it's I just, Arthur saying. I just made it. But mm -hmm. that's... I, I think that many of... Um, you better try it. Go ahead, try it. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. You good? Mm. <laughs> Is it good, really? Mm. <laughs> you have to say that. <laughs> it's absolutely this wonderful. Is, it's not stage soup. This is actual soup prepared in the kitchen. No, but I mean it. It's really... Is it really? A good soup. Mine's cream of broccoli. Let me see. Looks like it's got some almonds on it as well. It's very green. Okay. It's been very pureed. And almondy. I will try to... And almondy, yeah. Put more cabbage on the spoon so you mm. can see how thick it is. It's got... It's, a, it's a, Quite salt. Mm. Mm -hmm. It really tastes the, uh, mm -hmm. the greenness. Mm -hmm. This would be good for our cameraman because he's a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Our camera operator, our lighting director. I, I know, know what I have to do. Because otherwise, Vova. my shirt. You're going to throw it on yourself? Yes. Yeah. But only I do it with the last spoon. You want to tuck it in When your... the last spoon lands in my mouth, this is when half of it yeah. lands on my shirt. But you tuck it in like this, don't you? Yeah, so I will have to... You yeah. tuck it in like this? Isn't that the problem? No, don't do that. You're not supposed to do that. No, I mean, it would be better if it's in here, so I... Okay, maybe I will move it a little bit further away. I will just try not to this time. Just so how is it with all your travels? This is the first time you've been here. That's amazing. I mean, it just, uh, it was not popular because it was opened in late 1990s. So and many people who take care of tourist business in Warsaw have never came in here when they were working, working as a guide. And now they are running their companies and they, it's, it's not in an offer. And you know what? I am going to put it in the offer. Mm -hmm. It will be in the offer. You will come to, to, to your hotel, yeah. you will open a leaflet, and then it will be written all. You can, it's, it's, it's just 30 minutes to go to Radziejowice mm -hmm. and have this cabbage soup and, and sit right in here and, uh, yeah. In the garden of a palace. That's going to happen. In peace and quiet. This is how it will be. The last time I was here, it was very crowded mm -hmm. in November. It was lot, there were a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't like this. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
I, I think they're planning for a wedding, aren't they? Didn't you say? No, there are weddings. You can organize your wedding in a, in a, in this. Like, somebody's planning one today, today, right? Is there one a party here tomorrow? So on Friday, you, the, it's, it's Friday. Mm -hmm. I think they're they're getting ready for tomorrow, for some reception, right? Is this it good? Kapushnak is amazing. Is it really good? Mm -hmm. It's the best kapushnak I have ever had. Seriously? Yes. And I have had a few. Well, if you like cream of broccoli, this is good, but you've gone with the polo traditional soup. So I reckon they, they probably got some lady who's the expert of the locality to make it, you know? She is, and she should stay in here. You want to bring her out here? <laughs> mm hmm Mock in his kitchen. We'll have to do it. Poland Daily, we're eating our soup. We're going to have a second course. He's having dorscht. I'm having beef cheeks, mm -hmm. which is a local mm. a today, Polish delicacy. Today they are beef. <laughs> today they are beef. Okay, we'll see what that's like. Um, stay with us, after, and we'll be back after this uh, very informative bumper. I don't think it's very informative, but a bumper nonetheless. Ta-ta. The second part of the show and the second course is coming. Yes, after that exactly. good soup. Okay. Bring it on, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're very kind. What a beef cheeks. Oh, wow. Beans, Bards potatoes. Thank you very much. Wygląda bardzo smacznie. Dziękuję. Here you go. With your, with your knife and your fork. Yes. And here we go. All right, so what do we got here? I noticed first a uh, cameraman. Come over here and get a picture of this food. A pickle. We've got a pickle salad there. And it's onion? Mm. That's really good. It's simple stuff, isn't it? The key mm -hmm. to Polish food is the simplicity and the freshness, right? You agree with that? Pickles and onion salad. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. And then we've got the, I don't know what this green stuff is. So we have everything the same. We have puree, we have, we have uh, um, beans, rucola salad. Potato puree, the fresh beans. What are those called in Polish, those beans? Fasola. Yeah, fasola. It's string beans, we call them in mm -hmm. English. And then beef cheeks with, with a sauce here. I don't know what it is yet. Horse radish. Okay, what have you got? Mm. Also beans, string beans, also pira, also rucola salad. And let's take a look at a cod. Soft, looks nice, good. good, popular fish. This looks like a boiled beef, mine. And, and yours are so soft. Yeah, mm. this is uh, even softer than the last ones I had. Let's try it. Very tasty indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> and the beans. Good. Where does this green stuff go? Is that parsley or something? No, it's Ru lettuce. It's rucola. Isn't it rucola? It's yeah. rucola, mm -hmm. yeah. Of course it is. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. Mm -hmm. So uh, as I was saying, the key in Poland is just the freshness. It's simple food. Very straightforward, but prepared with, um, with, with fresh produce, right? Beautiful. Yeah. And these beans are right out of the garden, aren't they? Should be talking with my mouth full. Look at this beautiful view. Can you imagine how Count Kaczynski could yep. feel in here? Absolutely. He, he would feel good, mm. I think, except uh, when he was worried about either partition or the Germans coming, beginning taking his life for the end. Taking him to Dachau eventually. Yeah. Well, yeah. Not something to think about while you're enjoying a good meal, but nonetheless, the reality is there. What a so, beautiful free Poland we can enjoy today. Because of a guy like that. And you know, uh, uh, a beautiful day, they might have had the same beautiful day in September 1939, right? The weather could have been just like this but a totally different atmosphere. You can smell the freedom in the air today. 
you can. People complain too much, don't they? They forget. They don't read the past, so they don't know uh, how much, uh, well, they want to, people tend to think their time is always worse than a time before. But on the other hand, people tend to say that they are living in the best possible times. For instance, ancient Roman so? uh, Empire citizens yeah. were 100% sure that this is the best civilization, the best time they, that could ever be on planet Earth. Not well, even this would be available. Today we couldn't even imagine our life with not this. Without a fork, yeah? Yes, without a fork, let's say. But, okay, the civilizing influence, but uh, indoor plumbing is a huge thing. Romans sewer and system. Sewer system, indoor plumbing, aqueducts, roads. Pretty simple things. I always say you can tell how developed a country is, look at its roads. Sunglasses. Yeah, sunglasses to protect our, our retinas from the bright light, right? We live and in a still, pretty comfortable time. And still you appreciate this simplicity, cucumber and onions. Raw. <laughs> exactly. Tasty. Mm -hmm. And wonderful. Mm -hmm. mm. And we're having a good time. Well, I'm glad we, deci we decided to eat. Because mm -hmm. we could have just gone on, we could have hit the road, but it's such a nice place. Let's do some more episodes. In let's here. do let's do some more work here. Yes. Why go anywhere else? We were going to go to Wovich, weren't we? Or someplace further afield. Windless, cloudless. I think we should stay right here and enjoy it. And uh, I think that anyone else uh, who was venturing here would have the same feeling. That's our legacy. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Poland Daily Travel. Stay with us for more from. The palace here at Radziowicz. With me and Arthur. Thanks for watching.